Hi, my name is Moalla. In previous tutorial, we talked about deleting one item from custom list view. And we did that by clicking on one item. What about if I want my user to delete one item by swiping? Let's look at the final result. For example, I want to remove item number five. If I swipe from right to left, I can remove that. Let's go back to our project and make something like this. This is my project from last tutorial. To do what we want, we need to deal with panel because panel gives us more control over the touch of the user. In order to do it, I need to add one event to the panel which is inside each item. So here let's give a name to the event of a panel and let's create that event separately. As you see, we have touch event, which gives us more control over different types of the touch of the user. Here we have three parameters, action, X, and Y. I guess X and Y are clear. They are coordinates of the touch of the user. But what is action? When the user touches the screen, action returns zero. When the user drag his finger on the screen, action returns two. And when the user removes his finger from the screen, action returns one. Let's see that. To see them, we can log them all. This way, I can see what happens when I drag from right to left. I tried to drag. Now let's see the log. When I started dragging, action was zero and the X was 536. While dragging, action returned two. And when I removed my finger, action returned one and the X was 490. So how to detect swiping? I can store X while action is zero and I can check it again when action is 1. First, I can make the previous log commented. To see whether action is 0 or 1, I can use select case. When action returns 0, I need to store x variable so let's define a variable in global area now when action returns one i need to check the x again if previous x minus the new one is more than 50, I can understand that swiping happened. So let's check that by logging something here. As you see, when I just swipe a little bit, nothing will be logged. But if I swipe enough, this swipe text will be logged. Once we detected the swiping of the user, we can delete the item. 
So let's copy our previous code for deleting the item. Everything looks nice, except we need the index. The index of the item when the user swiped on that. How to access that? One method in custom list view can help you in this regard. As you see, it returns the index of the item that holds the given view. It needs one view and it returns one int, which is the index, what we want. To give it the view, we can use sender method. Now it returns the index and we can store that inside index variable. Now everything looks as we want. Let's try the application. Now, as you see, when I swipe from right to left, I can remove one item. I'm sure by your creativity, you can detect other gestures as well. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe in my channel and if you liked my tutorial, please hit that like button. Thank you for watching.